Mixed doubles curling. It's a new Olympic sport, but you'll notice pretty fast it's very different from traditional curling. First up, teams. Each team has one man and one woman. There are no substitutions and both players can sweep. And the ice is the same as in traditional curling, but there are eight ends of play versus 10. Each team has six stones instead of the regular eight. Player one throws the first and last stones, while player number two throws the second, third, and fourth stones. At this point, you might be asking yourself, where does the sixth stone come in? Unlike in traditional curling, in mixed doubles, two stones are placed into play before the start of each end. They're placed on the center line. The team with the last rock gets theirs placed in the house, while the team who doesn't have the last shot gets a guard. This cuts down on the rocks thrown in a game, since strategy tells us the first two shots usually look like this anyway. It makes the game shorter and creates different forms of strategy. But you can still score points with these stones. And scoring, by the way, is done the same way as in traditional curling. Okay, that was a lot of information, so quick recap. Mixed doubles, two team members, six rocks, eight ends, and two position rocks to start. Traditional four-man or four-woman curling. Four team members, eight rocks, has 10 ends, and clear ice to begin the game. There you go, now you are officially ready to not just watch, but understand mixed curling at the 2018 Olympic Games. But don't expect to see any crossover of the big names from four-person curling into the mixed curling event. Athletes who qualified for the four men and four women teams are not eligible for the mixed doubles event.